money guys here we are i'm at newbridge it's the fourth round of the uh league it used to be a super used to be called the super league but well, it still is called the super league um because the winner of this league would go forward and fish against winners of other leagues but now unfortunately um i think it was the angry times or something like that anyway they disbanded but the league kept going and fair dues it's all the, the west country boys um the bristol and uh even got gloucester and uh you know a few other teams in it and um it's it's quite a good league um it's a bit different than um most matches because you're fishing for just your sections um although they pay the top three um you're looking at the first and second in a section and it's worth like 70 quid for the winner and 50 for second so um as i say i uh uh I done okay last time. I uh, was second on the Unspell and I was also um, second on the, on the Gloucester Canal. Let's see if I can go one better today. Um, I sit Newbridge, as I said, I fished it the other week and I come second in the match on Small Roach. However, I've had a bit of rain and there's a bit of colour in the water and it looks as though it could be more of a bream water today. Um, but saying that, bream don't show in every um, section and every peg, so uh, you know it'll still be worth going for the roach. Um, if I go for the roach, I'm uh, quite confident that uh, I'll get the best roach bag in the section. It's going to take some bream to beat me. That's the way I look at it anyway. <laughs> PMA. <laughs> okay, I'm um, going to do the draw now. Let's see how we get on and uh, I'll let you know what I've drawn and then see you down at the peg. Doing a draw now. Draw lock. Seventy-six. Ninety-two. Hundred thirteen. Hundred thirty. Thirty for you, Clive. Oh, is it? Three media. Okay, all <laughs> right, just drawn. Um, 130, uh, which is uh, down in the trees. Uh, I have known bream to come from there, um, but apparently there's some roach as well, so I shall have a go at, uh, at the boat today. Um, as a team draw, it's not too bad, I don't think. Um, I'm on the end, uh, end of the section, so not on the end peg, which is a shame, because if it was, I'd, uh, it's usually the end peg in that section normally wins it, so that's the um, one I'm contending with. Bit of news as well, uh, Devizes are joining next year as well, so uh, the league will get a slightly bigger. So as I say, it's a good uh, good league to fish. Right, let's get down to our peg and let's uh, go through some of the tactics and methods I'll be using today. And just wish me well that I do well. <laughs> okay. Again. I use uh, glasses, yeah? Uh, underneath they got a magnifying uh, thing for tying the uh, hooks and baiting. Anyway, I've just been informed I got the end peg, <laughs> which is, uh, I tell you, it's surprising now these days, more and more people using bands. Look, look at that. Years, years ago, we used to come with their uh, cars, didn't we? And now uh, bands are the way to go. So, good news, end peg. Well, I come to my peg, 130. Um, and the only significant thing about my peg, I know it's an end one, but there's no trees opposite. All those pegs above me have all got cover. And I'm on an open bank. That looks like a cow drink there, so I wouldn't expect, probably expect some cows to come over there sooner. Or later. Well, I'm quite high off the bank here, so it looks like I might have to get in the water, which I didn't really want to do, but um, you know, I suppose I'd have to do it. Okay, I'll crack on.
Okay, right. Um, I went on the feeder for the first half hour and I've had a few roach um, and a couple of little skimmers. Then I went, then I've gone on the pole and um, and then I was finding that it was quicker the uh, the fish pole to hand, but that was over probably an hour ago now because it's just gone a bit dead now. Just pick a, a, the odd one, like the odd little trublet and that, like. But uh, anyway, crack on. You never know. Last half hour, might get us a couple more. <laughs> I haven't heard uh, much being caught today, to be honest. But um, we haven't had any runners, so uh, yeah, yeah. As I say, it's um, fishing. Um, it's quite deep. You know, it's sort of like 16 foot on the pole to hand, you know. Um, so, uh, yeah, fishing a pole to hand is a lot quicker. But you might not get the, qu the right presentation that you want, but the trouble is you go light and you're getting bleaked out and small little dates like that, which is really no good, you know. Oh, I go on now. Oh, small roach. Yeah, see. So if I keep picking up them up, I'll be all right. Okay, the match is over. Um, last half hour, I, I put some knobs of ground bait in and the fish come back. <laughs> so I caught a few more then. Um, ah, there are. It's a funny old game fishing, isn't it? Funny old game. I struggled for about an hour, really, the last hour, and then hour and a half, and then the last half hour, some knobs of ground bait. And I hadn't done that earlier because I just loose fed it because being on NPEG I didn't want to mess it up like. But I think it responded to the ground bait by the look of it. <laughs> Never mind. So let's go weigh in now and see what I got. See what I've done in the section. It's back next to me. Yeah, but he's a he's a good quality one, yeah. don't me. Small ones beat the big ones. Because you're a liar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a liar. You just can't count. <laughs> it only you've felt, it only doing, felt like a seven or eight pounds. For 40 years. Have you once had a decent day, don't you, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Jan phoned me up, he said they struggled. Oh, oh. Did they, they struggled up there, they reckon. It's more, isn't it? They go up there, they really take their hands away. Stuck in the back of the night. Yeah. Go the next time. They don't want to come in. It's horrible, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Eleven pound two eight. Eleven two. Mm. Ian's the one. He's the bad guy. What? I ain't got that. Seriously? No, no. I reckon halfway through I've got two pounds. I've had a few roach legs and some skimmers late, but mm. I've had a nightmare, Clive. Are you Absolutely. sure? Oh, honestly. Listen, honestly. I'm recording this, honestly, so if you tell it nice, oh, the world's got to know. I've lost a big skimmer <laughs> at the net, a big roach oh, at the net. I've trashed all my rigs, I've had oh, my own days. Oh dear. <laughs> Is he? landed a pike today. Oh! Yeah. Oh, that's a bit on the left. Is it? Go on then. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Back out because it's a nail yeah. in there. And looks like a section in this one. Proper fishing, isn't it? Come on. That's it. I think that'll be enough. Hold that, you hold that. Yeah, <laughs> Not that, you fucking idiot. Hold the f someone hold yeah, yeah. He's he 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 you didn't have double oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. that. Fourteen. Oh. Can't believe that. Yes. Four ounces. I can't. I honestly didn't go ten pounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never believe an Evesham fella. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> 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 I should have stayed in Ibiza. <laughs> Okay, just a quick rundown on the match. Um, sat on the feeder, out in the middle to put some ground bait in, double reds, and see if I pick up some perch. Sometimes you do. Um, I picked up a couple of roach, not a lot, and I kept feeding hemp, uh, maggot, and castor on the, uh, I think it was about 10, 11 meter pole line. Um, after about half hour, I came in over the pole line and it was very slow. And I, I was thinking, have I made the right right decision here? Because I know uh, generally if you ball it in, you, you'll catch fish straight away. Well, obviously, if I'm putting the feed it out, I'm catching fish straight away. But um, I wasn't bagging at that stage. Um, then, as I said, I come in uh, and it gradually built up and built up. And I kept, um, I was very tempted to try the ground bait, but now I thought, no, I'll keep loose feeding it. Being an end peg, I can draw fish. And I was catching a fish, almost a chuck, until an hour and a half to go, and they just disappeared. Now, somebody said there's pike along here, and I'm wondering whether pike spooked them. So, I'm trying a few things now. I try and up in the water, and the waggler, and a, and a bolly, and a, an even float, yeah, an even float. So, a half hour to go, I thought, well, oh, what have I got to lose? i got a half a bucket of ground bait. Just throw that in on the pole line. Well, <laughs> did what happened? Started so catching a roach a chuck again. Mm. <laughs> Never mind, uh, 15 pounds not bad. I ended up second in the section, so there you go. Uh, that's my match. There's another one here next week, so let's see. Uh, let's see if there's any bream weights. I bet there's some bream weights today. Bound to be. Because there, there's a couple of like bream and hybrids caught in this section, so uh, yeah. Okay, I'll go and see now. You be seen, Andy. Second, Troy Weaver, DGL, points from seven. Right. D section, Andy Richards, lobbies, eleven pounds three. Second, Mark Rush, Cyber Ball League, eleven pounds two. E section, first, Cyber Ball League, Charlie Valander, twenty pounds four. Second stretch, ten pounds twelve. Got shorter. Ten pounds. F section, first eleven pounds. Ditch. Second, Mark Rogers. Probably don't say it. He is a little bit like you want. E section. Nice level to the GTL. 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 Nice
guys. Well, come on. A couple of announcements to make just after we pay this and we do the team results. So the top six paying three. In six was John Williams with 12, six. Fifth was Clive Brandon with 15 pounds. In fourth, first out of the money, Nick Chedd's on 19 pounds. Oh, oh Chedd. So very hard luck. <laughs> first in the money, the magnificent weight of 20 pounds for Charlie Lavender. Valentine. Well Charlie. Well done, Charlie. Well done, Charlie. Second Lavender. place, Chris Park, 24 pounds 10. Well done, well done, and a very, very pop and a very, very popular winner on the day, Dean Harvey. <laughs> Teams on the day. In seventh place today, Premier 22. In sixth, Lobbies 24. In fifth, Nomads 26. In fourth, GBMV 35. In third, Census 88 36. Second with 38 Thatchers and winners on the day, DGL with 43. Well done, lads. League overall, seventh, Premier 114. Sixth, Nomad 128. Sixth, uh, fifth even, Lobbies 141. Fourth, Census 88 159. Third, GBMV with 180. Second, Thatchers with 192. And winners of the league at the moment with one round to go, DGL with 2 plus 3. Right. Um.